things have slightly changed, you know, over you know 20, 35 years in the sense that African Americans have have progressed, and some of us haven't progressed. Or has things remained the same in your 30, 30, 25, 35 years of doing this work? As far as I know, they're the same. Exactly. We have an African American president. So? We have a, a millionaire and billionaire African Americans. We have Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, the list goes on and on, Bob Johnson. So? What is that? That doesn't mean anything to me. What that does, what does that mean? So they say that things, it, racism doesn't exist. We're in a post racial society. Who says that? They. And you know, know who they know, are. I don't know who they is. <laughs> they are. Who they are, who they is. So, like your, so your mission hasn't changed. You still approach things the way you've always done. Well, I think I've, um, what's the word, um, refined things a little bit, got a little more focused, got a little more specific, got a little more clear about what I'm trying to accomplish and how to accomplish it. But there's no difference. Why would there be a difference? Yeah, well, we all, well, at least I am sort of influenced by a modern mainstream of society that says we're in a post race society. We shouldn't really talk about African Americans, shouldn't we discuss race the way we did when I was a kid in the 1970s? Things are different. Get over it. Those, those are the, that's the 1970s and 1960s. We're all one now. And I'm being facetious, of course. I don't, um,. live my life based on what other people say. I live my life based on what I know is the right thing to do. Um, I follow what makes sense to me. I follow science. I follow ancient wisdom. And I follow my own direct experience of things. When those three things line up, I'm pretty confident that I'm going in the right direction. Um, everybody always knows more about what you're doing than you know what you're doing. I don't listen to those people because they're not living my life. I am. So well, I don't care what people are saying. I know what I know based on science of which most people people are abysmally ignorant. Uh, unfortunately, most people don't read. Uh, they don't. They don't go to primary sources of information. They get secondary or tertiary or quaternary sources of information, and those sources of information are very distorted. Um, they don't trust their own direct experience of things and they don't um, I don't think they're well read in ancient literature which talks about the core fundamental things that you should have in life and in society so you know I don't I don't uh, base anything I do on what somebody else says, least of all what's in the popular press or the media, because that's just ignorant. Um, in terms of this question about racism and post-racial society, my sense is that um, when black people and white people talk in this country about racism, they're having two entirely different conversations. White people appropriately say, this is America. We are, by law and by philosophy and by our values, supposed to judge people by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. And that's the ideal. That's the ideal. Black people talk about their own personal experience. And so black people talk about being pulled over by the police and treated like a criminal, regardless of who they are and what they've accomplished. They talk about being micro-insulted and micro-aggressed and stereotyped by white people all the time. They talk about the actuarial statistics, which clearly show that the health outcomes of black people are far more poor 
than the white people. They have some idea that there are just as many, there are actually more white people who use drugs than black people, illegal drugs. But all the black people are locked up for illegal drug use. So black people are fairly clear their selective prosecution. If you go to traffic court, you would think the only people that drive in Chicago are black and Latino who violate traffic laws, when the reality is probably everybody does. Um, so black people are very clear they're being discriminated against routinely in this country. And so when black people talk to white people about racism, they're talking about their direct experience. White people are talking about the ideal. And so the two groups of people are rarely ever having the same level of conversation. And so when black people go to white people and accuse them of being racist, white people say, what are you talking about? I believe in America's ideal, which is everybody ought to believe in. But as a result, um, there's no common ground around conversations about race in this country. And it's unfortunate because black people also believe in the American ideal. But getting to it and having it become real is, I mean, there's a gap between the reality and the ideal. And that's what everybody's working towards, hopefully.